It's course two eight. We still have the keys to the car. Nick, I think your talents lie not behind the camera. Sitting. Put on records. Sit down. Sit down. This is the ending. This is the happy ending. Here. Here. You drive. Ochtends doe ik het helemaal gaan. Als ik recht uitga, kom ik vanzelf aan. Weet ze niet. What is it? <laughs> this, this is my, my Danny Howell's birthday present uh, two, years, uh, two ago. years ago. Danny, can you show how it works? Know. I can't remember how have to push him. This is great. <laughs> He's kept the try me stick on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> he may take that off. Look, this, this is great. What he does now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, okay. put the stuff in. Let's go. Here. <laughs> oh, hello. How are y'all? I've never heard this before. No, it's not out yet. Oh! oh. oh. I have to copy, copy one for me. Yeah, I will. I, I should have made it. Do it later with this later, because I've got some stuff to copy you as well. All right. Yeah. No, but listen, you first you play in Arnhem yeah. for two hours, then you drive to The Hague, oh, the, uh, then we drive you to The Hague. Actually, I drive you to The Hague. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to play two hours again? Yeah, but it's only two hour sets. They're so quick, they're just like that. They'll they're, they're, they're be all right. Yeah, you're used to 12 hour sets. Yeah, I'm used to 30, 40. <laughs> no, maybe not quite that long, but no, that'd be all right. That'd be fine. What is your favorite club in Holland? In, in Holland? Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know, really. Well, my favourite thing I've DJed at yeah. was at the beach, I think. That was one of my favourites. With the Silly Symphonies? Yeah, that was one of my favourites. The atmosphere there was incredible. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah, I am. Yeah? <laughs> Can you do that one again? <laughs> that was really stupid. Can we do it again? <laughs> do I take two? Okay, well, right. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I can't do it until my entrance. Oh, is that you? It's yours. <laughs> it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> when did it all start for you, Dan? Um, I actually first started DJing ten years ago. Yeah. But it didn't, didn't get crazy for a long time after that. Even since I was, like, really young, I had so many records. I, much more than any other kid at school. Yeah. I always had a huge collection. And then when I finally got to a stage where I wanted to do something else other than just listening to them myself at home, so mm. um, I just decided to do a few parties for friends uh, locally. Yeah, and, and then, and then you, you went to clubs as well? Yeah, not 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 a huge amount because I was living in locally in Hastings, so a lot of the yeah. clubs weren't. Hastings is south of England. It's, yeah, near near Brighton. Near quite close to Brighton, yeah. So um, going to clubs a lot and you know sort of meeting girls and drinking and doing all that sort of thing. But most of the clubs were playing sort of very much you know top forty chart music. Yeah. And it was only really when um, John Digweed started to bring DJs to Hastings. We right. got we, we suddenly became exposed to you know like Carl Cox and Orbital and Sasha yeah. and like that. Yeah. And Darren Emerson he used to bring all these DJs down. So that's when a lot of us got our first taste of um, what was going on. Yeah. How did you learn to DJ? That that was the easiest part for me. That came immediately because but really I, I think because I'd done a lot of. Um, when I was a kid, I used to do a lot of tapes. I used to make it, um, longer versions of tracks. Like, yeah. if you get a seven-inch single of, um, I don't know, some old dance track from the yeah. 70s, and, you know, an instrumental on one side and a, a vocal version on the A side, I used to just make longer versions kind of thing. And then shortly after that, I got a residency at a, a small club in Hastings called The Crypt. 
and then within a few months of doing that, I got somehow magically got a, um, a gig at Bedrock yeah. with Digweed and Pete Tong. With Pete Tong as well? Uh, so I was a little bit scared. <laughs> how, how did it go? It went really, really, really well, but I was very nervous though, because I'd never DJed with big DJs like that. When you started DJing, you, you also had a, a job in a, in, a, <clears throat> in a mental institution. Yeah. You were, you were a, I wanted to say you were a nurse, but. <laughs> He yeah. wasn't a patient, no. They that came after. But that, that must be quite hard for people, you know. You have to be a bit mental yourself. To they do say that. Yeah. Yeah. And they also say if you stay there longer than 10 years, yeah. you become a, a bit mental. Yeah. So I left after nine. <laughs> <laughs> and it prepared you for uh, the, 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 the yeah. mental world. The, the mental you world of DJ. DJ. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it almost prepared me, not quite. Nothing <laughs> quite prepared me for what was in store with that. The house is a feeling. You have to feel it yeah. to understand it. My dad, my dad, when I first started DJing, didn't really understand the music that much. He was, you know, just thought it was repetitive. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then we did finally come out to hear me DJ in London. And he came up to me and he said, oh, I love it, it's brilliant. So he was really, yeah, yeah. I think he, yeah, hearing it in the club. Hearing it in the club. Seeing the atmosphere, you know, the, the people exactly. dancing to it, the way they're enjoying themselves. And I think you can understand it then. Did you change by the success? I think it's difficult to change. I, I just remember my old work too much. Yeah. And it's all too close. It's, you know, it's not like it was years and years ago. It's, it's quite recent that I was doing yeah. working and having to like work and being really, you know, like so grateful for any, any money that came in or, you know, yeah. like just being a little bit desperate at times as well. Okay, Dan. Hi, Louis. I know you're a bit messy sometimes, aren't you? A bit, bit, bit messy sometimes. Oh, thank you. There you go. To, uh, We're going to Mixy Mixy at the radio. At the radio station, 538. Open up! <laughs> Hello! Mum! Mum's got me out! <laughs> Turn it down! <laughs> This is the home of Radio 538. This is the place where kids are born and DJs die. <laughs> Do you know what, 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 what door we have to enter? It's closed. It's like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's not up there. No. Oh, DJ Sean. Just say hello, hello, DJ Sean. Let's do it. Okay, have a nice one. Chop, chop, mate. Okay. Uh, eight hours to go, man. Hey, 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 hey. hey.
Kasu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Odan Theatre in The Hague, Holland. Welcome to the Capital Party tonight, featuring Capital London. That's right. Later on, we'll have DJ Danny Howells. Nice ending for you, love. 
Ich bin ein Schädel. Hör auf, Mate.